1047. We're back with a live shot from Century Plaza Hotel and Spa. Monday morning, Monday motivation in the form of Justin Kent conquering the Vancouver Sun Run. Top spot, 29 minutes, 30 seconds. Did you run into the studio today? Uh, Let's get no, that out of the I way. was joking with friends that um, I would, but no, I, I, I didn't. I drove in, so yeah, uh, it was, but yeah, I have a run after this though, so. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the training is serious, and let's see the uh, the photo, because this is an iconic moment. We have a local winning the Vancouver Sun Run. Shout out to you, Natasha Wodak, by the way, in the women's mm -hmm. category, winning as well from North Vancouver. Mm -hmm. uh, but tell us about this moment and what goes in to having this under your belt now. Uh, yeah, it's, um, honestly, it's, uh, uh, no words can kind of describe it. It's, um, it's kind of a culmination of, you know, like 10, you know, plus years of, of, of training and, um, and kind of validation of some, some hard work. So, um, yeah, I'm, I was over the moon. I'm still like, still kind of hasn't settled in. I can't believe I'm, I'm here on breakfast television. So it's, yeah, it's crazy. You made it. Yeah. It's yeah. like BT yeah. yeah. sun run, right? Yeah. Uh, K by K, take us through when you started the race, how you yeah. were feeling because you, you bested your, your personal best by what, 20 seconds on this race. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've only run a couple 10 Ks. Um, so I knew I had, I have a lot of room to grow, but yeah, the first K, I mean, it's downhill, but it's just like an electric atmosphere. And I think I just, I tried to really soak in the whole moment. Um, so I knew the first K, I, I was feeling pretty good. We went through, I think, 240 something, and uh, it felt pretty effortless. And so I just tried to sit in um, and see, you know, where, what happened. You know, I was fully expecting someone to kind of take the pace and, and make, it, make it a hard race. And everyone kind of was jostling. And so I just took it kind of K by K and made sure I was just stayed in contact. Um, I knew the Berard. Street Hill was going to be a bit of a um, a bit tough, and so I just try to stay strong there and let the legs recover down the hill. Um, to be honest, the six to eight k was kind of tough um, mentally. I was a little, I was like kind of shaky, a little shaky. I was like, oh, I don't know if someone makes a move here, I don't know if they'll be able to respond. But so, how do you overcome that? Because that's very interesting when you're in a race yeah. and you may be feeling good. And then you see someone, because what, Trevor Hoffbauer from, from Calgary was yep. in this too. Mm -hmm. uh, when you guys are neck and neck and thinking, you really want this, I don't know if my body's got it. How do you conquer that adversity in your head? Yeah, I just kind of um, try to take it like step by step. Like um, I try to, you know, not focus on the outcome so much as, as the process of, okay, just get to, you know, I'll pick a spot down the road, get to this spot, feeling good, make sure you get to this spot, feeling good. And then, so as soon as I got to 8K and I realized, like I, kind of tricked myself into getting to 8K uh, mentally. And, and we were kind of five of us abreast. Um, I was like uh, kind of licking my chops, like I feel pretty good still. And I was kind of looking around, see how everyone else was feeling. Um, so, uh, and then yeah, 9K, Trevor made a really good move going up the Canby Street um, on-ramp. Uh, and that's kind of the last hill and it's the last little grind. Um, and so then once you hit the, the ramp, it's about 1K to the finish. And so I knew if I had, you know, just under three minutes of work to do and he made a move the, the another Kenyan athlete kind of followed suit and I just kind of hung in behind and tried to relax as best I could and um, and then yeah the last you know 500 meters I kind of came up to Trevor's shoulder and then he kind of I don't know I'm talking with him afterwards but he he smacked me on the butt and said go get it and um, it kind of gave me another rush of like adrenaline and it's kind of last 300 just rolled and and he he was right on me and i was a little worried because the i didn't know where the kenyan athlete was i really didn't want him to sneak in and still still bolt our thunder so yeah um, i was kind of looking around making sure like no one was coming up on my left or my right so um but yeah i still can't believe it it's you still did it you yeah. conquered it and quickly uh we only have a few seconds left but how much training goes into something like this how many times are you running a day uh how many kilometers uh, kilometers are you covering per day yeah it's it's quite a bit uh throughout the year we'll do 145 to 160 kilometers a week on average so it's like almost like a half marathon over or over a day wow. um for most days so that'll be split up into one run or, or two runs sometimes it'll be um but it's it, it varies throughout the year but majority of it through the base phase we're kind of upwards of 150 kilometers a week so it's quite a bit of time in your legs probably put more mileage than my car uh, in my legs so um yeah good man
Well, listen, uh, we're going to close it out. Uh, congratulations to I you. appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, one last photo because a, a years of hard work. Only 26 years old, but what, this back in high school? Uh, yeah, that's my first, uh, first cross-country race, actually, um, wearing my dad's split shorts. Uh, as you can see, they're pretty baggy. Um, but, yeah, that was one of the Surrey, uh, one of the Fraser Valley's uh, meets, I think. But, yeah, it was my first kind of test uh, of the waters. So, um, yeah, it's amazing. Um, like I, I can't thank my family enough. My dad's, you know, been there. My mom's been there. My dad's been getting going for runs with me in the morning every day since. Like even less last week, yeah. he was on the bike with me, um, riding around Burnaby Lake as I got my 16K in. So, well, it's, it's been a yeah amazing ride. Bravo, my yeah. friend. Bravo. Yeah, appreciate it. Well done. You should frame those split shorts too. Uh, yeah, you know, let's yeah, bring sure. them back. Yeah. It's a good fashion statement too. Watch this coming away right after. <laughs>